everybody what is up and today is going to be your second advanced batch tutorial so let's get into it now what we're going to be learning today is how to make an encrypted batch file so we're going to say echo give me the password then we're going to say set slash p password equals if password equals equals coders tuts go to correct if not password equals equals coders tuts go to wrong now this should look a lot like user input to you guys but let's just get through this and I'm going to show you the encryption part so let's just create correct we're going to say echo you got the password right pause Let's make wrong. We're gonna say echo. You got the password wrong. Now let's just put pause there and put exit. Now let's say we want to give the person who got the password right a secret message. So we're gonna say echo. Hi, world. Yeah, that isn't really secretive, but anyways, let's just save that. It says give me the password. Let's say I'm too lazy. I'm just going to put some stuff. It says you got the password wrong. But let's say I really want to see that secret message. All I just have to do is right click, hit edit, and I can just look through and say, it says go to correct. If you get the password right, I, it says, oh. Hi world. Now in order to avoid that, we are going to add some encryption. So we're going to get rid of hi world for now. And we're going to say set A equals H. Set B equals I. Set C equals W. Set D equals O. Set E equals R. Set F equals L. Set G equals D. And set H equals exclamation point. So now we are going to put A with the two little percentage signs like you would do something like if you want to reference a name in variables that will be less than five. So then we're going to put B again with the percentage signs a space since we want a space between high and world. Then we're going to put C, D, E F G and H. Let's just save that. It says give me the password. I'm going to say coders tuts. And it says hi world. Now let's say I got the password wrong. You know, instead of hitting edit, and you're like, what on earth does that mean? Now, let's say we want to make this more secure, because if the average user would right-click and hit edit, they would just look down and it said, hi world. Well, we would just mix up the order of these, you know, 
just put these sets slash whatevers in random places. Oh no, let's put that there. Here, let's just put that back where it needs to be. So right now this really looks messed up, like I don't know if the average user could find out this. Let's just save that. Let's say we want to put something. It says we got the password wrong. Let's just hit edit. And then people will be like, what on earth? How am I supposed to find that out? So that is going to be your second advanced batch tutorial. Please make sure to subscribe for the latest episodes and tutorials. Thank you for watching.